Hello and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel everybody. Now, today I'm going to be talking about a wrinkle you can throw into the Ganban Trap City book that I'm doing on this channel right now. It should be finished in about two weeks. I should have all the plays posted on YouTube. So, just be patient for that. I still have to work a couple of things out. Still have to lab a couple of more plays because I feel like the scheme is not quite complete yet. Making progress though and this video is going to be great. Now, a couple of announcements. The biggest announcement is that the day I'm recording this, which is Thursday the 23rd or 24th, I don't remember. Actually, I can see it right here on the PC. It's 24th. As of today, EA just dropped the patch fixing the catching bug that was introduced on Tuesday, two days prior. And thank God they did it because I wouldn't have played Weekend League if that bug, bug had still been in the game. Now it is back out of the game. They patched it. Good job, EA, for once. You broke it, then you fixed it two days later. Quick turnaround. Good for you. Now, I am going to be playing Weekend League this weekend. I'm just going to be streaming all of my games over on Twitch. I want to stream. Got a new PC. It is going to be a whole lot of fun. So click the first link in the description to follow. Turn on not notifications so you get notified when I go live. You know how to do that from YouTube, which in case you haven't yet subscribe and click the bell if you don't want to miss out on the rest of the scheme today i want to show you guys how to get from uh punch offset to i from close and other formations of that nature now that sounds really glitchy and it is this is just for you guys who want to go out and win all the games that you're playing this is a true try hard scheme it is about as toxic as you can play madden right now but it is a whole lot of fun so i'm going to show it to you guys you need to make a couple of substitutions. Most important thing is to have a running back either in here or in here, whichever you prefer. Now, what does that do? Gun Bunch Offset regularly has a one, it's has one half one half back on the field, one tight end, and three wide receivers. So a one one three personnel. Now, what you do if by subbing in another half back, in the eyes of EA, you now have a two one two set, which means that you can audible to other formations. In the 2 1 2 uh, sub uh, package. I don't know. I don't know how it's called. I'm not a football guy. I'm a Madden guy, so I don't know all the terminology. Now, if you see, I have one half pick right here, and I have the other half pick. Obviously, I'm at the half pick spot now. Let's go select double post. And I'll show you guys how this works now. This is not particularly useful if your opponent comes out in run defense. Like, I don't have it in here, damn. Uh, Nickel 335 wide is one of the most popular run defenses. Also, popular run defense is 3-4 odd. If your opponent comes out in one of those two formations, it doesn't make sense to audible down, down to a running formation. But, Gunbound Offset is a very um, pass heavy set. Very likely that your opponent is going to come out in something like 2-3-5, where he's going to play pass defense primarily. Now, 3-3-5 is great against the pass. It is one of the best pass defenses. But it is really, really bad against the run. So we're going to exploit that. Now let's say we come in a bunch of offset. Have made our substitutions. We can audible down. If we call man coverage right here. And we see always he's in 35. Now I can pass against that. If you want to know how to pass against a very good pass defense. Such as, such as 55. Go check out the last video I did. On this play where I broke this uh, double cross play down. In deep detail. Um, I don't know if that's. It's good. It's kind of sus, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll rock with it now. If we want to pass, we can do that. Very simple setup would be just drag Thielen, and then we can beat man coverage. But if we feel like, all right, we're just, we just want to make it easy on ourselves, we can audible down to I from close. Now we auto, we get, get into this. Now we can run the ball. A very important caveat, you have your wide receiver lead blocking for you in the fullback spot. That's just a thing to note. But... Just know there is some yards to be gained. This is really glitchy, so use it cautiously. You might just piss your piss off your opponent really badly. Now I can also run up the middle. I can call any run play I want. There are not, there, are, there are some other formations that I can. Uh, I don't know. There's some other formations I can go to that are really annoying as well, such as we close flex. There's some good passing plays out of these. I still have to let them up. They were great last year. I'm sure they're great this year again because the alignment of the formation is really glitchy. And it seems like there should be something there. I haven't tried it out yet. Don't want to show it to you guys just now. Just know that this is possible. Now, what's the craziest thing um, about this? You can really, really, really mess your opponents up. 
because they can play pa perfect pass defense and the next time they're not ready for it you come out in the same play oh i'm not feeling it let's go down to bunch base or that's not big information let's just go down to weak coast flex and run the ball just do that very simple very easy gain a couple of yards also uh something that i want to show i want to just uh, let you guys know the 49ers have one of the best defenses in the league so they're probably getting some more sheds than your um you're gonna get in ultimate team if you have a good o-line that's just something to keep in mind while i'm showing this let's not forget though that we still have the ability to run some pass plays and now it gets really good because we have a right a wide receiver at the fullback spot which means that if our opponent wants to run coverage we're gonna have a wide receiver matched up against a linebacker also something very neat to keep in mind now let's just run this play um really simple um sadly why uh adam thielen he's still i caught him he's not that fast so he's not gonna win one-on-one -on -one matchups but if you have a really fast wide receiver you're gonna win those one-on-one -on -one matchup matchups against uh linebackers now that's pretty much all i want to show you guys except that i still have to show you guys something now it is important to have a fast running back uh subbed in right here i have the fastest guy you can possibly have in raheem Mostert. he has 95 speed in regular teams in ultimate team it is a little bit different because usually fast running backs are pretty expensive i am going to show you however who i'm using to do this with in weekend league um and he's actually not that expensive he's going to cost you about a little short of 200k right now so let's just go do that i'm gonna see you at the ultimate team screen this is just a little bit of a side note if you want to know uh which running back is the fastest in ultimate team right now you can actually go to mud head i'm gonna put the link in the description go to mud database and 21 players select that it'll be, then you'll be on this page now right here on the right side you have a bunch of filters and i'm gonna right there you can basically filter for what you want I want a halfback and now we go to advanced to see uh, the fast players and then we're gonna scroll down general is the category we're searching uh, in speed and we can put in uh, the number we, uh, we, of the speed we want to have so I'm gonna go I want at least 88 plus to 99 open end and now we'll see the all of the running backs or the halfbacks rather that have speed in between 88 and 99 now Cam makers has 88 speed we can see that you can see that right here on this card Bo jackson has 88 speed this Bo jackson has 89 speed we will look for the cheapest 89 right here which is uh, that left outside linebacker then we'll filter the left outside linebacker to see if he's the cheapest 89 left outside linebacker right there not actually 146k i would buy that if i still need the training uh i'll buy him buy him quick sell him and then go back now i will show you my bo jackson he's at 88 overall right now and he has 90 speed that is pretty good so this will be the uh the halfback i'll be doing this with so bo jackson right here compare him also this compare st screen is really bad just throwing that out there now 89 speed no actually 90 speed work done he's a pretty good running back too i got um backfield mismatch on him just to make sure that i get uh get man coverage wins against linebackers but 90 speed bo jackson he's gonna be out wide he's gonna be the guy i'll use to do this glitch now i hope you learned something in this video if not more than just how to really cheese and annoy your opponent that's fine but i hope you also uh, were able to take something away for team building mudhead is a great tool i use it pretty much every day uh, when i'm playing madden just to make sure that I'm, i have everything i have all the cheapest prices know which players i should go after which players have the best stats uh that's just a side note though i hope you enjoyed the video if you did then make sure to re uh, reward me with a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet also make sure to follow the twitch i'll be streaming over there on week uh, the weekend league this weekend if you want to see how i play madden right now that's the place to go I appreciate you very much for spending your time on this video and I hope to see you on Twitch and in the next one. Peace out.